The Game 2 starting pitchers have seen plenty of their opposition throughout the years. Between his time with Seattle and his first season as a Yankee, James Paxton has faced the Astros 14 times. Justin Verlander doubles him up. The former MVP has made 28 lifetime starts against the Yankees, including six in the playoffs. We heard the news about John Carlos Stanton and the quad injury. Let's get the very latest on that as we get you out to Minute Maid Park right now. Meredith Morocco been standing by. Meredith, what can you tell us? What is the latest on Stanton? Bob, it was certainly a red flag when the Yankees released their lineup and John Carlos Stanton was not in it. It's the first time they've altered their lineup this postseason, and the change was not made because of matchups. It was made because of injury, as Aaron Boone explains. Kind of injured his quad last night. Um, so, um, hoping that it's a, you know, something that with today and the off day, um, you know, that he would be back in play for game three. We'll just kind of see how these next 48 hours unfold. He, he would be available tonight if, you know, to hit or, or go in an emergency situation. So, um, you know, he is, he is in play tonight, but <clears throat> didn't feel like he was good to start. Does he know how he injured him? Uh, in the, his first hit, getting down the line. I mean, we're going to do day by, day by day, tread some water with it. It'll be available off the bench as a choice to hit for Booney, and, and we'll just evaluate him on a daily basis. Obviously, the off day is tomorrow, so uh, we'll see. Philosophy all season long with this team has been next man up, but are you even thinking to yourself at times how many more blows can we withstand this year? No. I mean, bottom line is, you know, this team's been resilient, and we're just always forced to go a different direction. You know, that's the way the game of baseball seems to be set up anyway. Anyway, it's like nothing goes as planned, so you don't sweat it. You turn the page and, and focus on what you have, and uh, so you just re repackage a little bit. So, you know, he's, he'll be on the bench, uh, you know, waiting in the wings as a threat, uh, and, you know, hopefully Cam Maven can take advantage like he has done so many times for us already this year. With John Carlos Stanton out, it'll be Cameron Maven starting in left field. The Yankees could have opted to move Brett Gardner over to left and started Aaron Hicks in center field, but they did not. I'll have more on that decision, Bob, later in the show. All right, sounds good, Meredith. We will see you then, and we welcome you now inside our Yes Studio in the Yankees pregame presented by Chevy, Bob Lorenz, Buck Showalter, John Flaherty, and Jack Curry. So hard to see what the long-range implications are of this injury. They're hoping it's just short-term. I think the phrase, though, that you take away from those interviews with Boone and Cashman, Bob, is, 48 hours. The Yankees need to know if Stanton is a player for them for the rest of this series by game three. So they will sit and wait and see if they get him back. And meanwhile, for Verlander, it's a little different look in the Yankee lineup because he doesn't have to face Stanton, but that doesn't eliminate the pressure that is on his shoulders tonight. This is a guy who, when he goes out there, the Astros expect to win. He doesn't do his job tonight. They could be going to New York down 0-2.